So I get asked all the time, does the color of my mucus matter? Does it signify that I have a bacterial infection? Do I need antibiotics because I have green stuff coming out of my nose? And the answer is complicated, yes and no. Let's talk about it more. So in general, the color of mucus, mucus that no longer stays clear but becomes cloudy and white, yellow, green, brownish, tannish, there's a variety of different colored mucus that I've heard described. The color itself doesn't tell you much. However, what it does signify is that mucus is not flowing smoothly and consistently, at least in part of your nose or from one or more of your sinuses. When mucus hits an area in the nose that's swollen, the conveyor belt, the little cilia or hair fibers that keep mucus flowing, is dysfunctional anytime there's that degree of inflammation. Those areas have mucus forming above them, which hits the spot of dysfunction, slows down or stops moving altogether, and breathing through your nose is constantly drying or evaporating the water out of the mucus. The end result is it thickens, becomes more viscous, or even dries into a solid debris. As that mucus thickens or becomes more viscous, it's also growing germs. Anything stationary inside a germy environment like the inside of our nose is going to be a, a breeding ground for germs that feed off that stuff. So there is a degree of bacteria involved. Does it signify a sinus infection? Usually not. Usually the mucus just isn't moving and that leads to these changes. It could be happening on the turbinates, it could be happening in the floor of the nose, it may not even be coming from your sinuses. This is where inspection in the ENT clinic can be useful because with the scope we can determine is this discolored mucus actually flowing out of a sinus or does it look like it's just allergic rhinitis and all the swelling is caused by allergies on all of the nasal structures but not necessarily coming out of a sinus. With this information, we can choose a treatment option that's more likely to succeed. Nasal rinses in particular are helpful because of the drying effect is treated very successfully by rinsing. Rinses thin the mucus, they flush out that solid or semi-solid debris that's building up in some of these spaces inside the nose and around the nasal structures. In addition, they're removing dust, pollen, and all the irritants that might be contributing to that swelling that caused the dysfunction to begin with. So let's talk about the best treatment options if you have discolored mucus. Start with a nasal saline rinse and do this safely with distilled water using one of the over-the-counter Neil Med kits or a Navage machine or whatever your choice of nasal saline delivery is. Use it regularly. Once or twice a day is optimal, at least when you're not feeling well or you're having more of this thick discolored mucus. In addition, if you start having fever or pain and pressure that localizes particularly in one part of the face, or that's more likely to represent a real sinus infection and that actually would warrant antibiotic treatment if it doesn't quickly resolve within a few days. If there are signs of complicated sinus problems, such as redness and swelling on the face outside of the sinuses, that can actually be a surgical emergency and that should be seen in the physician's office or if more severe in the emergency department. If you're having discolored mucus a lot of the time or even most of the time, that's when I would strongly consider regular use of a topical steroid. A good example would be Flonase over the counter or a medicated nasal rinse that can be prescribed through the ENT clinic. And different medications can be very useful in that situation, such as a topical steroid and a topical antihistamine in the rinse. Medicated rinses have the additional advantage of providing that moisture, cleaning the nose, and delivering medicines all at once. I'm a big fan of medicated rinses, as my patients can attest to. So just to summarize, discolored mucus, thick, green, yellow stuff coming out of your nose doesn't always mean you need antibiotics. Occasionally it will, but most of the time it won't. Topical steroid therapy or regular use of saline rinses or both are actually more useful in this situation. And if you're not sure, go see an ENT. A quick nasal endoscopy can help uncover the exact nature of why you're having that discolored mucus and help pinpoint the exact treatments that are most likely to succeed for you and keep your nose happy and healthy long term. Thanks for watching.